What's going on, Houdat Nation? Harrison Graham here from Chat Sports, bringing you today's Saints Rumors Mailbag. You guys submitted a bunch of questions. We tried to pick the best ones, put together the graphics that made, this, made the most sense for this show, and that is what we are doing for you guys. We will start with Patrick and his first question. Hashtag Saints, if you want to be on our next mailbag as well. Should OBJ be high on the Saints priority list? Well, pretty interesting question here. It definitely wouldn't hurt with the resurgence he has been able to have with the Los Angeles Rams. It goes to show when you pair him with a good quarterback uh, what he's still capable of doing. Uh, he's been great with Matthew Stafford. He's fit in with Sean McVay in that offense. Now, obviously, you got to figure out quarterbacks. I mean, last time he didn't have a quarterback he was in sync with, Baker Mayfield, who is probably better than anyone the Saints have. Uh, he was not happy, and he did not play well. What's the Saints quarterback situation going to be? Are they got to draft someone like Kenny Pickett. Uh, they got to go trade for someone. They got to bring back Jameis Winston. Uh, you got to figure that out first and then uh, go from there. I'd be open to it. Uh, I wouldn't mind it, that's for sure. Obviously, there's still questions surrounding Michael Thomas and his future, but OBJ has impressed me with what he's been able to do with the uh, Los Angeles Rams as he uh, chases a Super Bowl ring here on Sunday. So uh, we'll see what happens with OBJ and free agency, uh, but uh, it's obviously a possibility uh, that he signs elsewhere. Should the Saints sign OBJ? Type OBJ for yes, type no BJ for no, no phrasing uh, on that one. Let us know in the comments, and uh, we'll get to our next question here in a second. Let's go to Patrick Toll. Toll, what do you think of the odds of us drafting USC's uh, Drake London with the first pick uh, and Penn State's uh, Jahan Dotson with the second pick. Uh, I like both players. Drake London, a bigger uh, fa bigger physical guy who also has good speed. Dotson, kind of a, not a small, but smaller guy that's uh, really shifty and really fast, good return man as well. Again, it, also, it all depends on the QB situation. What type of quarterback do you have? Uh, Dotson's a guy you can just get the ball to underneath and he can make some plays. He can also run deep routes. I think London's more of a you know, pro-style physical player that can run the seam and do those type of things. So it depends on what quarterback looks like. Uh, but you do need more playmakers on offense because even if Michael Thomas comes back, what do you have after him? Not much. Not a lot of uh, guys uh, that are proven. And plus, you got other, me uh, other needs on this roster. Uh, and the problem is when you have several needs on your roster and one of them's quarterback, that makes it challenging, especially with the Saints cap situation on how they're going to try and navigate that. So Dennis Allen is going to have to work through that with the GM, work through the roster, and try to figure out the best path forward. But obviously Drake London at 6'5", 210, and can run like a deer, along with Jahan Dotson, who's 5'11", 185, and really shifty and explosive. They're two of the better receivers in this class. Probably wouldn't go receiver-receiver with your first two picks, but uh, if you really want to revamp your uh, skill position group, that would certainly be a interesting strategy. Uh, and then is Michael Thomas going to return? I hope so. He basically hasn't played in two years. Uh, he was arguably one of the best, if not the best, for sure top five receiver uh, when uh, we last saw him consistently play in 2019. But question marks, uh, now that he's missed two years, can he uh, get in sync with the quarterback not named Drew Brees? Those are all legitimate questions. Who do you want the Saints to draft in the first round this year? Let me know what you guys think on this one. Name a player in this draft class that you would like uh, to see get drafted. All right, Saints fans, make sure you guys subscribe to be a part of our, our next mailbag. We take questions from our subscribers. You send in hashtag uh, Saints, and then uh, if you guys are subscribed, uh, we pick from those. 50 subs away from 3,500. Help us get to our next milestone. Uh, you guys may not know the Saints now one of our biggest, uh, fastest-growing channels uh, among the smaller channels here at Chat Sports. Uh, have a group of smaller ones. Saints uh, beat a lot of them to 3,000. So keep it going. Let's get to 3,500 and then, of course, 4,000. It's free. Just hit that subscribe button. Pelicans, Nola, do you all think we're going uh, to go with a veteran quarterback or get a new kid out of the draft? It depends. Um, it's going to be harder to get a proven veteran quarterback uh, because, uh, obviously, they don't have a lot of cap flexibility. That's that, that's something we've talked about for years. Now, on a trade for an Aaron Rodgers or a, a Russell Wilson or someone like that, it's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you capital. So I, I think that's unlikely. I, I would go the draft. I would try to find my next franchise quarterback with the young guy. Malik Willis, really talented. Uh, he's explosive, can run, can throw. Matt Corral, a dual threat type. Kenny Pickett might be the most pro-ready, but his upside might be a little smaller. And then Desmond Ritter out of Cincinnati, same deal. Uh, 
could have a lower ceiling, but probably has a higher floor as well. I might take a chance on Malik Willis if he's available because he's got so much potential. Uh, fascinating to see uh, how this front office operates at the quarterback position this offseason. You could also bring back a guy like Jameis Winston and then draft a quarterback, you know, in the second or third round. That could happen as well. Who would you go after in this offseason at quarterback? Uh, would it be a draft guy? Would it be a trade or a free agent? Uh, bring back Jameis, huh? He was playing okay before he got hurt. Let us know down in the comments. Now, Super Bowl Sunday is upon us here. If you want to go bet on all the fun prop bets and, of course, the point spread and over-under and all that good stuff, you can do so with BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code is chat125. Put down 100 bucks, You get 125 for free. Rams four-point favorites as we film this. So if you feel good about that, go check it out at chatsports.com slash bet. Cam Armstrong, do you agree with this head coach signing, or was there a better coach you would have preferred? It's a safe, solid hire. You know what Dennis Allen brings to the table uh, as he's run your defense. This has been a top eight defense for a handful of years now, uh, according to most uh, measures, especially DVOA, which is what uh, most teams look at now. Uh, they've been top eight, uh, so that's really good. Obviously, he's got to help or figure out this transition year where the cap is a bad uh, you're in a bad uh, cap situation. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think a intriguing hire that could have a higher ceiling would have been a guy like Eric Bieniemy. I like Dennis Allen. Uh, he's safe. He didn't do well as a f head coach first time, but I think he's got more to work with this time around in New Orleans. Eric Bieniemy, I think at some point, deserves an opportunity. I think he would have been fun to see what he could have done with this offense that has limited assets at this point in time. Uh, hey, maybe Bieniemy uh, is an OC in the future. I think he's going to go back to Kansas City, but we'll see what happens on that front. Uh, probably unlikely, though. I just uh, I, I, I don't think he's going to leave Kansas City unless it's to become a head coach. Uh, so now Dil Dennis Allen has to figure out the offensive side of the ball. Are you happy with the Dennis Allen hire? Why for yes and for no? Let us know what you guys think in the comments, and uh, I'll be commenting with you guys. Why and let us know. All right, here we go. At last, Ram, should the Saints keep Michael Thomas? So, yeah, we kind of talked about him a little bit earlier. <sighs> I would probably still keep him, but I, you got to figure out what uh, his, his thing – it's just hard to say. I want to say yes, but the logical thing is probably no. Clear out some of that cap space and then go from there. Start to rebuild. I love Michael Thomas as a player, but he's expensive and he hadn't played in two years. My heart says yes, my brain says no. That's kind of where I'm at in this, uh, in this uh, uh, situation with Thomas. Uh, for a guy who hadn't played in two years, uh, you got to be available. I mean, we saw this uh, that weird analogy of the Dallas Mavericks uh, traded Kristaps Porzingis because he's always hurt. Well, now Michael Thomas has injury issues. Do you do the same thing? Do you cut or trade him to clear out some cap? I think it's a uh, thing to consider, um, but, um, you know, the Saints obviously value him quite a bit because the last time he played a full season, he had one of the best seasons in NFL history for a receiver. I mean, 150 catches, uh, 1,700 yards, nine touchdowns. I mean, this is a premier player when he is healthy. Uh, I think you could still get good trade value. I don't think you're – you may not get a first, though. He hadn't played in two years, so – Fascinating. I think this is an offseason in the NFL. You can see a lot of stars move, quarterbacks, receivers, and some other guys as well. Uh, and uh, we're going to be here covering it here on New Orleans Saints. Now, what do you guys think? Should the Saints keep Michael Thomas, type K for keep, or type L for let go? And remember, hashtag Saints and subscribe to be a part of our next mailbag.